uh, welcome back uh, to the session of Kubernetes. Uh, it would be the last video of uh, EKS. Uh, so in this video, in previous video, uh, we had two videos, like uh, one for the EKS setup and one for the node group setup. In this video, we will see how we can authenticate uh, our uh, CLI uh, to connect to your Kubernetes cluster. So uh, to do that, uh, we must need to configure our AWS. Uh, we must need to have AWS CLI. I already installed. Uh, you can install using view uh, uh, based on depending on your operating system. Uh, currently, I have a uh, Mac OS, so I use view install AWS CLI command to install uh, uh, package. So if you have Ubuntu, you can install apt get installed AWS CLI and uh, relatively the same command for uh, Red Hat as well. So yeah, uh, after configuring your CLI, you, you need uh, credentials uh, for your AWS account. So I have what I've done, uh, I have already configured my AWS CLI so to do that you can you can use aws configure command um, and using this command you would be able to like update your credentials um, so what so this is my username and password and region so how you can you can uh, this is the way you can connect uh, with your uh, aws console so uh, the next command you need to check your sts access so aws sts cat caller identity will give you a, a new key uh, so uh, this is your uh, key uh, rotation and now uh, you need if you need to connect to your kubernetes cluster so uh, for this you need to issue a command called uh, aws eks minus minus region us dash east update dash config minus minus name test cluster so this will uh, connect you uh, with your kubernetes cluster so to check what are the resources in my kubernetes cluster so for this we can issue a command kubectl get nodes at the moment i don't have any nodes in my kubernetes cluster so what i can do is i can go to my eks cluster uh, and i can set up a node group so this probably will take a uh, small time. So EKS. So this is EKS. I need to navigate to my cluster. So in the cluster, go to the compute. Uh, we already saw that in our previous video. Click on the add node group. So I'll call that group as test ng. Uh, we need a role. Uh, we already know how to create the role. So this, these things we already covered in the previous videos. I'm not going to deep dive again. So I'll be just launching. So yeah, uh, for to in order to create uh, these things, you must need to have uh, I am role in place. So yeah, uh, our compute uh, is this is in creation process. So it might will take a little while. So meanwhile, what we can do is we can check over our Kubernetes cluster. So this is not the one. Yeah, this is. We can see uh, if the resources are is provisioned or not. And from here, if we need to see if uh, it's really resources are being created. So what we can do, we can go to the EC2 console and we can navigate under the instances we can just remove this then we see there are two and so once uh, yeah there are there, there is one uh, running instance and there is another two uh, pending instances available for us so let's get jump back to our console to see uh, is still uh, they are not in two by two states it's an initializing once the initialization process is done uh, these uh, we can start watching these instances in our uh, EKS cluster so these are the two running instances but the both are in initializing a state so if we go back and see uh, 
so one is joined our Kubernetes cluster and another is joined but both are not re in ready state they will take a while one uh, this one is uh, becoming the ready state and now we will have uh, other one is as well like because it's a little late to join uh, the party so it will take like 10 to 15 seconds more uh, to become ready Because it has some some sort of yeah both are in ready state so that's how you can connect to your EKS cluster uh, and you can join you can see the resources uh, the benefit of having uh, uh, node groups in place it will give you ability to uh, spawn up different type of uh, instances uh, like uh, you you can you can uh, create uh, different families you can create gpu base and you can distribute your cloud accordingly instead uh, if you if you spawn up your resources uh, so that's that's an edge so we can see there are two instances are in nodes as well in the compute so i hope this video helps uh, you can configure the eks cluster uh, if you like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and stay tuned for more interesting aws and other technology related videos so thank you very much thanks for watching this video